Yo, yo, what up, guys? So, if you guys remember back when I did my steering wheel, um, I had that box that went into the steering wheel that sensed your hand on the wheel, and that was for what do they call it, travel assist? Or basically, when you're on cruise control, it's not lane assist, it just keeps you, you know, bouncing between the lines. It actually steers for you around turns and all that. So, when I switched steering wheels, that steering wheel didn't have that. So I contacted the company and they're like, WTF, we've never seen this before. Send us your wheel, we'll modify your old wheel, and that way we get some data on our end as well for um, the 8Y vehicle. So sent it back to them, and I finally got it back. We have it right here. But there's a ground in there, and I lost the screw. I don't know what I did with it. So I gotta go to the store, get a new screw. The Urus paddles, which I guess is the title of this video, they should be here within the hour and uh yeah I'm super hyped so we're gonna run the storage get my triple square to get the steering wheel off because i gotta give that one back to them and then we gotta go run to the hardware store get a grounding screw that's gonna fit this and then we have some other stuff well it's not gonna be this video actually you guys probably already saw the video but the do 88 intercooler is here so that's gonna go in this weekend I'm um, going down to, well you guys probably already saw the video, going down Last Human's Garage, Mark, and we're going to get that in and go do some runs together, some fun runs, so I'm going to change real quick, we're going to head out. Shout out to Chops Mobile Detailing out of Virginia Beach, they came through yesterday, shined old girl all the way up, her wheels looked about 10 shades darker, I don't know how well the camera brings it on, but she is spicy clean and of course I'm getting a call from work but um, I got a video building up here extending the driveway they already got where the garage is gonna be poured we'll go over that in another video though I am so sick of people not using their damn turn signals in this place this is a small pool It's still freaking hot. I guess it's August, so it's expected, but 90 degrees, bro? And it's like way more than that, because it's like 80 something percent humidity. But good thing is, my house is like, skirt! What, less than a minute, minute and a half from our climate controlled storage that is packed to the brim. Really sucks having to go to storage to grab tools like my jacks in there and my jack stands, my whole toolbox, my like any, I don't know, like my all my triple squares are in there and like my long ball headed Allens and all types of stuff. So I really appreciate Mark, if you're watching this, Last Human's Garage for uh, inviting me down, letting me do my intercooler in your garage, even though this is filmed before um, that. You guys have already seen that video, but again, shout out to him. Really big help. Let's run in here and uh, get some tools. Man, you guys never really see this car up close when she's dirty, but when she's clean, boy, she's clean. Enjoy this for the next 24 to 48 hours while it's, uh, while she's nice. Mm. Lovely. Got the automatic doors. Make sure our doors are locked. Why won't my keys work? Can I leave my car on or something? Hello, hello, hello? What the hell? Weird. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Skirt. Yeah. How about it? Me old hood. All this stuff is going to wind up going in the garage once it's built, but here we are. Oh, and this reminds me I need to order, this is my old oil and spark plugs. I need to send this back to FCP after I order more. Just hit 15,000 miles over the weekend, so time for another oil change. Well, couldn't find my triple square. I don't know if it's at my work toolbox or my spare tool bag at home. I feel like I would have seen it in either one. 
I was in both bags recently, but I guess I can just drop by Harbor Freight, grab another set of triple squares, because I could use a second set anyway. But I did grab another air freshener. Um, this one's finally ran out after a while, so again, shout out to Sean. Thank you. It is a little vibrating in here with the AC full blast, but it is hot. Yo, Harbor Freight really be like McDonald's. You go there expecting the in, out, quick, and just satisfied enough. You go in there frustrated, they don't have what you want, you don't get what you need. Very agitating. And the lady at the counter did not want to help me at all. Could not find this shit anywhere, and of course, conveniently, their website was down. But I walked out with a um, leaf blower that the old lady wanted, um, electric. You should be able to use that to uh, blow off the car too. You know, I, I she got me a heated blower for uh, my birthday, but that's in storage, and this will be good for the yard too. Our neighbor behind us has a pine tree, and all their pine needles fall in our yard, so. That'll be fun to deal with. Anyway, gonna go to the hardware store, try and find the screw I need for steering wheel ground, and then we'll go to Northern Tool. Um, they're a little less cheap, and uh, I'll go drool at all the Milwaukee tools they have, and uh, hopefully they should have some drill squares. Fingers crossed. This bad boy out real quick. in the store with me right here is what I'm looking for this little screw there we go let's get in there that bad boy right there is what we're looking for if you guys just so happen to need this screw there you go it's under um, gun hardware at Ace surprise I even found one so now I want a northern tool to hopefully find some triple squares. I didn't have any here either. Back home now. My box is here. Let's hope that they fit and work. Um, find out in a second. Do this a little funky so you guys don't copy my address here. Let's see. Clearly. Made in China. I try to avoid straight buying China things, but not many options these days. I don't know why there aren't more companies making more things, jumping on opportunities, which makes me want to start my own company, but I don't even know where I'd start. I have so many ideas for different things. Anyway, you guys don't follow, you guys, most of you guys probably watch Cletus. So Motion Weight Raceworks, the main guy for that, like the owner, is Doug Cook. Um, obviously, you know, he's more of a V8 kind of guy, but if you follow him on Facebook, you can see the stuff he posts and the ideas he um, comes up with and like all types of, just someone that you, Jesus Christ, should follow. Um, very inspiring. Uh, he listens to his customer base, his people commenting on, on his stuff all the time with ideas and he's taking notes and kicking ass and he bought all this machinery and warehouses and started making all this stuff in-house you know and just going after it and that's it's really inspiring really makes me want to do such things but well okay so I thought these were going to be plastic for one so uh and yeah, they're just like I feel like aluminum it's definitely metal They look like. It's talking to the homie. I wish there was a little bit more on the back here. I mean, there's like a little lip on the edge there you can see, but um, see, there is a pin that goes through the back, but I still think you have to take apart the uh, whatchamacallit. But we'll see. I'm gonna get some pictures, then uh, I'll show you guys again how to take the steering wheel off. Then I'm gonna take that clip by itself and post that. It's like a you know two minute video on how to remove your steering wheel and then uh, we'll swap everything over to this one first thing first turn your car on unlock your thing 
pull it back all the way and then set her up a little past 90 degrees turn the car off all right now this is with a four millimeter allen key you're gonna want this pretty much right up against this there's gonna be three sets of holes there's gonna be a small one here a bit or probably about right here a medium sized one here this is the one you want and another one over here so right up against here and you want to try and go in as flat as possible it's going to try and make you want to go down you're going to have to pry this up to go in straight otherwise you're going to miss the little um clip so we'll get it in here difficult to do with one hand but look this is the four millimeter this is where it's sitting right now it's literally sitting on the spring well, it was and all right try and do this with one hand Ready? We're just gonna lift up on it. You'll see this thing. See, I just fell. That easy. Take it out. Go 180 and do it again. Okay. Got the camera set up again. You set 90 degrees. I'll try and follow this. I said so there's multiple <laughs> LOL, holes to go in. This one should be it. Yep, see how it sits, just like that. Just gonna pull down a little bit. Oh, now we're off. Now you can see this steering wheel does not have that ground where the ground's supposed to go. I just have the wiring sitting here. This is where that black box is supposed to go. Sorry about the flare. So, this other one you gotta take this stuff off anyway you just unplug this stuff like normal get your m12 triple square take the steering wheel right off and again here you guys can see where you're going through and getting that allen key to push these in to unlock you slide your little connector out of here this is what it looks like it's a pain in the butt see that little empty spot right there in the middle you gotta push down on that and then this pops out it looks like it comes apart at a different spot, but it doesn't. It's just a really small male end that goes in there. I thought it pulled apart right here where the size changes, but it doesn't. It pulled apart down here. So keep that in mind. Got my M12 out. Boom. All right, guys. Stuff's pretty straightforward. You got some screws to go into this trim there. You got some to go on the back side. Don't forget those. Everything else just pulls right out. They're just pins. You gotta apply some pressure. Um, T20 to get the paddles out. You guys probably saw my last video. If not, link will be in the description. But now we get down to the paddles. And in the videos I've seen for the 8V, people just, let's focus here. You got that pin, right? Man, this camera really does not like to focus. The pin there. You, those guys just push it through the other side. But look, there's no other side. There's no hole. So I've been trying to like put pressure on it and push it out. No luck. Um, the only thing I can think of is maybe drill a hole. I really don't want to do that. <laughs> well, decided to go for the drill bit. Went right up against, sorry guys. Camera does not like to focus on me. Right up against the lip, kind of at a downward angle, and it went through and started pushing the pen out for me. So we'll grab an Allen key here, push it all the way through, and see what we gotta do next. Okay, pen is out. Let's see what we got here. Um, okay, looks like it might. It might work. These insides look quite different. Yeah, the button is not in the right position, it seems. As you can see here. The button presses up against that little plus sign. This is not in the same area. Unless this is. No. 
We'll see. I might have just did this for nothing. I'm going to be pretty upset. Well, I forgot to record it, and I don't feel like taking these pins back out. So as you can see here, where the button is that presses the button on the circuit board is in the wrong place. And then this piece right here, that pushes up against a spring that, you know, that's what makes the paddle come back out. And this doesn't have that at all. So these will not work. Sweetie, you can see that spring there. That's what goes onto this piece. This does not have that. So I emailed the people I got it from on eBay. And, uh, yeah, maybe they sent me the wrong ones. But, uh, as you can see, they don't fit. So, put everything back together. Hopefully, at least my uh, travel assist works now. I'll at least be one W for the day. Well, guys, got everything back together besides the trim. Trim is too short. This is the trim that came with the wheel out I bought from them. And I don't know. I just, I don't know. It's too short. I have to go to storage and see if I still have my old trim or what. And it's silver and ugly, but whatever, I guess. We'll just have to see. Just have to see. Well, turns out the distance between here and here on the new old wheel and my OEM wheel are completely different, so I have to use my old trim. I'm gonna find, well, I guess they're gonna try and find me black trim since that's what I paid for, but for now, or back to silver kind of ugly it, it'll match the interior either way but temporary well, let's go see travel assist the works at least get like I said a W for today hopefully you're back on these I guess we'll be making a part three to this video which I didn't even want to make a part two but uh, here we are no it's way later in the day I want to be done by this by like 4 4 30 7.30. Now, mind you, I did stop a lot to play with my kid and conversate with the old lady and some other things, but generally speaking, this should have been done a long time ago. That's life. All right, guys, we're back a few days later. They shipped me the new version, or the proper version. It was my fault because I ordered the wrong version. It wasn't their fault. They sent me the right one rather quickly. It's only a couple days later. As you can see, this is the original paddle this is what uh, the proper one's supposed to be like and then over here this is what the one was that I bought that was wrong so you can see big difference here so we're gonna go ahead and try and install this one here see if it works fingers crossed all right guys check that out it works here, nice click nice click on this one too nice all right, let's toss them on the wheel. All right, I can't even zoom out far enough to get the whole wheel, but that looks good. We have like kind of Urus style vents. I'll pop a picture up here. They're not in the same position, but they're pretty much the same shape. I feel like the design of these paddles definitely matched the design language in the car. I'm happy. to do with they they feel great they click good from every angle I'll dig it so I'll make sure I put a link in the description if you guys want these said they are China they dig it here relatively quick um, that's about all I got I'm a happy camper thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the flip-flop